Well, Moneyball's new world headquarters is finally open. Desmond Ferguson joining me. How awesome is it to finally have this place open? Man, a lot of hard work when it is, uh, a lot of patience, but it feels good to finally be here and be open. You said when the, the ribbon cutting ceremony happened a couple of days ago that you've been driving around this place for a couple of years and to finally have it and have it be yours, yeah. how, how special is that? Man, uh, it's, a, it's a dream come true. You know, you have a vision or, you know, you dream and you think about it and go through the thoughts and then go through some actions and, you know, put yourself out there because this, this is the biggest thing that we've, you know, done to date. And to be here is a special feeling, but more importantly for the community to embrace us the way they have so far. Well, let's take a look around and, and kind of show off what we got out here. Yeah, yeah, so we got a little bit of everything. It's our, this is our storefront, obviously. Uh, we have all our ladies' items over here as well as our youth items there and then all our adult and men items over here. So what we'll do, we'll start over here and then take you down this way. This lane pretty much is all youth kids. So we got the shorts, t-shirts, you know, it's about to get hot, hopefully consistently. Uh, but we got our, our, some of our fleece for the, for the young folks. We even got some toddler t-shirts for the youngins that we got. Uh, some performance dry fit tops and bottoms. You know, got to keep the kids active and athletic. So we got that. And uh, then obviously over here, you go to our women's section some long sleeves and joggers. Hoodie short combination is a, something new that we added, I think, that uh, the ladies love this summer. Some of our uh, Apex, you know, zip ups and, and, and sweatpants. Then we have our uh, boy shorts and, and tech sports bras for the women as well as our athletic apparel. And then, you know, we have the license to do MSU apparel that we have for a couple years now. So we got some MSU branded stuff. When we we'll take from over here, we got all our men's stuff, you come in, our classic t-shirt, this is our longest lasting t-shirt that we've had for over 10, 15 years that just still continues to sell today. And we added our lifestyle outline, which is very new. We just released for the, for the grand opening. We got it in various colors and our sweat shorts, which is a everyday short that you can wear. Uh, we have these great all over print shorts. As you know, you, you know about the old Moneyball logo. Yeah. That's the original logo of me shooting the ball, uh, the, our current NB logo, and then the only way to ball. So it kind of tells a story within the pattern of it. All new stuff. We couldn't open up a new store without new items. So most things that you see are brand new items. So if you come in here, if, you know, old customers will know that oh, it's something new that we didn't have before. All our classic hoodies and sweat. This is our number one seller. All right. From day one to now, our number one seller is our classic hoodies. Our retail sales counter. What's great about this is uh, this is reclaimed wood from the original building. Okay. All right. So we use that for our retail top. You talk about this wood is is decades and probably hundreds of years old and just want to add that tie, tie that into the community from when we first got the you know building and it wasn't a whole it wouldn't look that great but we were able to save a few pieces from that so we got our half court you know high school three-point line and you know if you can shoot you know if you got the money ball shot you can come out here and shoot from the nba three-point line yeah we plan on to have some three-point shoot, shootouts out here some one-on-one -on -one contests for the young fellows and three on three so you know we want to have the space like once again not just for us but you know for the community type of events that we're going to be doing when you started this 21 years ago, mm -hmm. did you think it would turn into this? No, man, when I first started, it was, it was just a hobby. It was just kind of something I was doing on the side. You know, I was playing professional basketball overseas. And then it kind of became, a, you know, legit business over time. And then, you know, a business that I put all, my all into and wanted to prepare as I got done playing basketball. But I didn't know what to expect early and I was just kind of going with the flow. And then here we are, you know, 21 years later with our 5,000 square foot, you know, world headquarters facility. Uh, and we're looking to continue to grow. How special has this week been for you? Man, un unreal, man. Uh, you know, for me, I couldn't imagine how the turnout, I didn't know how the turnout would be. And if you were here for, when we did a ribbon cutting, man, like we had people from all over and it was, it was packed in there. Yeah. I didn't know if we would have 20 people or 200 people. And I think we had close to the latter, you know. Uh, so it, it, it really feels good that knowing that the work, hard work over the years has, is paying off, but we still have a long ways to go, so it's not like I'm satisfied or this is the end, but to know that you know, we're making those steps and growing is, is important for me. Well, the building looks awesome. Super cool That's in here yeah. in Lansing. Appreciate the time, Des. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. No doubt.